quantum entanglement is when two or a group of particles are interacted or connected to each other or entangled at a quantum scale. In such a way, it is impossible to describe the quantum state of each particle in the group independently of the state of the other, by which one can affect the other even if they were separated in large distances. Uh, let's take photon as an example, since photons can exist in all possible ways and when we measure it, it will exist in one state. A photon can be entangled by splitting a single particle into two photons in a large arrangement in, uh, with a special crystal. Uh, let's have photon A and photon B. Uh, photon A spins to the right, then photon B will spin to the left. And when we measure the photon A, a photon B is directly affected and goes in the opposite way. Uh, this effect, is it faster than light? And is quantum entanglement faster than the speed of light? Well, when we observe the photon A, like what I say, the directly photon B is affected. This seems that it is faster than the speed of light, at least a thousand times. But Albert Einstein refused that idea and quantum entanglement, since in his relativity, nothing can go faster than the speed of light. And it was possible that quantum entanglement could be the key for his relativity by the idea of multi-universe can be also entangled and affected. And Einstein described quantum mechanics as a spooky action since two particles are entangled with each other. Now, why quantum entanglement is important? Uh, according to a website physics uh, stakeexchange.com, it is important to use quantum entanglement rather than superposition as a resource in quantum computing because if you allow a signal equivalent superposition state, then uh, the quantum computation can be efficiently simulated by a classical computer. Well, uh, quantum computers is very nice, say. Uh, also, the, there is a language for quantum computers called Kisket. It is a nice language. And thanks for my subscribers and for who add likes. And thanks again. I wish in the next time to explain more quantum computers.